you know, 34 inch curved ultra wide HD LCD display. I've never tried one of these. This is something different. Don't mind the box though. So as you can see, we'll check that out in a bit. So there's more stuff here. There we go. Right, so let's look at this view. First, this is like my first ever ultra curve Mac that I'm going to be reviewing. Oof, whoa, 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 this is slick. This is slicker than the average. Look at that. Look at how silky this looks. So you got H, you got M MHL, HDMI, HDMI 1, HDMI 2. Audio in for your headset. Then USB 3.0 for them, but tilt tiltable bracket as well. Oh man, this is crazy. I like this Philips part that sticks out. It's quite nice. I preferred. I would have preferred if it went down, but you know, it's it's whatever. Yeah, this is looking mighty crazy. So this is the ultra wide. I'm gonna set it up and show you how it looks. Here we have it set up, man. Like I'm liking the look at everything right now. Now it's just time to test it. Oh, I'm just gonna play around with the settings and show you that you can actually change it to other things as well. So right now it's on HDMI 2.0. Now I can change it to Go up, and we can change it to my PS4 settings. Now, when it's like that, it does look it's actually ultra wide, literally. So it's again, it's one of those things that like, could change the color settings as well. So watch your back track London playing on full screen. I might want to watch it and just play some Street Fighter while I'm watching it. But while that's happening, I can actually change the audio as well of which one I'm watching. So right now. Alright, so we have it side by side as you can see. So that's the audio. On 40. Let's put it up a little bit. Let's put it up to the to them. So that's for a street fighter. Run to back to London. They tell you to shut up. Ooh, no but that's violent. That's very violent. <laughs> As you can see, I can put this anywhere on the screen. But it would get annoying because it's in front of the main screen. But I'm not sure you can either make it small, medium, large. Yeah, so for 4K gaming, this is this is not 4K, so resolution is not gonna be the greatest. But for 4K gaming this is gonna be crazy. Like I'm really like the colouring and everything is just so great compared to my last monitor. I had a Yama monitor. I thought that was good, but looking at this, like the clarity, colors, everything, yeah, it's top notch, top notch. If you do video editing, then this is highly recommended as well. Reason why it's not fully stretched out, I haven't really found out the proper way to stretch out, but I think it's because the resolution on my laptop only goes to 1080p, so yeah, or 920 by 1080, should I say. So it doesn't stretch out fully, and you know, this monitor can go to 4K. Um, if there's a way to fully stretch it, I might not know, but from what I saw and what I tried to read up, I couldn't see how to do it fully. If there's a way, then yeah, that, then it would be great. But if it's not, and it's the way that I've shown you, then that would they, that could have been a bit of a better improvement if it fully stretched on the screen. But other than that, no, I really love it. I've set it up for like last week Thursday. We're now into Tuesday. And I've just had it up here just mucking around into the settings and just using it and I really enjoy it. I like the way how it's curved, you know, it goes up and down. You can tilt it up and down. So so as you can see, up and down. 
it doesn't go left and right though it's just up and down but yeah it's really good the clarity and colors is really nice as well and yeah it's everything about it right now for me is is a winning it's winning this like even looking at this right now this is looking like a movie rather than a game this is a game <laughs> and it's looking like a movie look at the whites look at the coloring everything just looks so rich like it's crazy like I would recommend this monitor to everyone that is doing either gaming whether you're doing video production work so you could split in two like it's you know you can either have it like one on the game one while you're video editing while it's rendering you could be playing the game like this one is crazy man i just, like i'm in awe with this this is just like I've, this is the first time i've had an ultra wide monitor to review and yeah this is just the coloring of it is just so rich so perfect and you know it's just it's what everyone needs is everyone needs something like this if you really care about like clear clarity clear picture you know, you want to see everything, the creases, everything. Yeah, this is a monitor for you, man.